Hi, I'm Mike Cerrone with Mastermind Agent, and welcome to the webinar, How to Turn I Want to Think About It into Yes in Three Minutes or Less. Ever have a seller stall after you finish your presentation? Learn how to get them off the fence fast. So that's what we're going to be talking about here in just a few minutes. We're waiting for a few more people to come on in. Uh, in the meantime, if you just showed up, uh, do me a favor and... Uh, get your chat box set up, and it may be already set up if you were with us uh, before, but go ahead and enter your city name over there in the uh, chat box and press enter. Uh, if it pops up on the screen, you're in great shape. If a little white box pops up that says log in, uh, go to line number two and type in your name and press go. That'll give you a temporary name uh, so that you can uh, participate today, ask questions at the end, uh, et cetera. So uh, go ahead and take care of that. And uh, let me see if it looks like we've got some things happening here. Oh, cool. So it looks like uh, we've got May from uh, Hawaii. Hello, May. And uh, we've got Bob from Las Vegas. Hey, Bob, welcome. Uh, and we've got uh, Lanita, I hope I said that right, from Washington, D.C. That's awesome. Great news. Welcome. And uh, I'm glad you're joining us today. Uh, let's give everybody else a few more minutes to join us and, uh, and get signed in here to our chat box. And I'm going to get a little drink, so I'll be right back in just a moment. Hi, I'm Mike Cerrone with Mastermind Agent, and you're in the right place if you're here for the webinar, How to Turn I Want to Think About It into Yes in Three Minutes or Less. Have you ever had a seller stall after you finish your presentation? Learn how to get them off the fence fast. That's what we're going to be talking about today. And, uh, and if you're just coming in and you haven't done it yet, go ahead and type your name into that chat box uh, to make sure that the chat is working for you today. Go ahead and type your name in there. Excuse me, type in your city where you're from, press enter. And then uh, if you haven't done it before, it'll pop open this white box that'll ask you for number two to put in your temporary name. Just go ahead and write in your temporary name in there, number two, and press go. And then you'll be in the chat for the rest of this uh, webinar so that you can uh, make comments and uh, ask questions, uh, et cetera, uh, as we're moving along. I'll be doing a Q&A at the end, uh, so I won't be looking at the chat as we go. So sometimes I miss things. I apologize. Uh, but I do this this way so that you have a, a place to put your questions so you don't forget about them uh, by the time we get to the end. Um, so go ahead and do that, and we'll get started. We'll give everybody about another minute, and then we're going to get rolling. Well, hi there. I'm Mike Cerrone with Mastermind Agent. Welcome to how to, the webinar, how to turn I want to think about it into yes in three minutes or less. And uh, the idea here is, have you ever had a seller stall after you finish your presentation? Learn how to get them off the fence fast. So we're about to start up here within the minute. Uh, but go ahead uh, and put yourself in the chat if you haven't done so already. Uh, there's going to be a little box somewhere on your screen, depending on what device you're on. It's going to look something like this with question and comment box down at the bottom. Type in your city, press enter. Uh, if you're already part of the system, it'll just give the answer. If not, excuse me, you get this white box that'll pop up. 
And then number two, go ahead and type in your name, press go, and then you'll be part of the chat. And that way, uh, you can ask questions at the Q&A at the end. Also, you can make uh, questions or comments as we're moving along uh, through the presentation. Uh, and um, and you'll be part of the, the system here uh, for our presentation. So let me take a look. Yep, looks like we've got some folks coming in. That's fantastic. I got uh, some more folks. Judy from Orlando. Uh, Lori from Alberta. Hey, Lori. Uh, we got Chicago. Uh, Bruce, there we go, Bruce. We got uh, Vicki from Lafayette. Uh, we got Rick from Lincoln. Uh, we've got an anonymous, <laughs> that's okay, from Tallaloosa. I, oh, I think I messed that up. Uh, and then we got uh, Dublin. I wonder if that's Ireland. And um, Allison from Denver. Um, Yes, and then I had an anonymous, hey, we're going to uh, get out the uh, seller sheet to you, and I apologize. I will get that done at the end. Please remind me at the end. That was an error I made. And uh, Yaley uh, from Luxembourg. Wow. Okay. And uh, Teresa. Cool. All right. So we got everybody here uh, and a whole bunch more. And I can see so that's fantastic. Let's go ahead and get started. Um and there we go. Here we go. So the webinar is, let me back up. Hi, I'm Mike Cerrone with Mastermind Agent, and welcome to the webinar, How to Turn I Want to Think About It into Yes in Three Minutes or Less. Have you ever had a seller stall after you finish your presentation? Learn how to get them off the fence fast. That's going to be the topic that we're going to talk about today. Uh, and people always ask me, are these live or recorded? And of course, it depends. But right now, this is live. Uh, as an example, it is August 1, 2017. Uh, it's 11.01. Uh, my time, I'm here Mountain Time. So if you're, say, on the East Coast, it's probably 1 o'clock or the West Coast, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, and I'm excited about presenting this webinar to you today. Uh, so let's get rolling. This is going to be a deep dive. It's going to be quick and to the point. We'll be done in about 60 to 70 minutes. Uh, there will be no replays unless I can figure out the technology, which doesn't always work. Uh, so please stay to the end. Uh, and as I mentioned before, sometimes I've run long and I apologize. But yesterday, I was able to hit it right on target at about an hour. So I'm hoping to do the same today. So hang in there with me. All right, if you have any questions, go ahead and type them into the question box as you think of them. That's why I opened up that chat box for you early. And, uh, and then I'll be answering questions at the end uh, with a full Q&A session. So uh, I won't be able to see the chat box right now as we're moving along. So if I miss something, I apologize. But I will be looking and referring to that at the end. All right, well, you're in the right place if you're a real estate agent and this has ever happened to you. You make a fantastic listing presentation. The seller is nodding their head up and down and agreeing with everything you say. And you're starting to wrap up and ask the seller to sign the listing agreement. You're real excited. And then all of a sudden, the seller stalls and stops the process cold. Then you hear the dreaded words, I want to think about it. You want to scream, what do you need to think about? You just agreed with everything I said. <laughs> <laughs> but you know if you say that, you're only going to get yourself in hot water. Plus, you know if you leave, the odds of getting the listing rapidly decline, and the next agent through the door is probably going to get the listing. So you kind of feel stuck in this catch-22. If you press them hard, you look like a pushy salesperson, but if you do nothing, you're probably going to lose the listing. If you've ever found yourself in this situation, you're in the right place. I have a solution for you. It's simple and effective. Now, there's probably some of you saying, Mike, it looks like you're reading the, the lines that are coming up on this, the screen. And the answer is, yes, I am. This is my script. So I stay on track so I don't get off on a tangent, which I tend to do. So this will keep me on track so we get, cover all the material and make sure that you get everything that you need to get. All right. So here we go. <laughs> I'm having a little stall there. There we go. <laughs> All right, well, here's what you're going to learn today. Uh, how to turn a seller no into a yes in three minutes or less. This is a really cool technique. I think you're going to enjoy this. Uh, more accurately, how to turn a seller I want to think about it into a yes. Because let's be honest, I want to think about it is basically saying no. I'm going to show you a simple yet effective technique that will turn this situation around, get the seller off the fence, and get you an answer in three minutes or less, and often that answer becomes yes. You will understand the simple psychology behind this successful technique and why it works so well. 
You'll see the script and know exactly what to say and how to say it. All right, at the end, uh, I'm gonna offer a free surprise for you if to stay with us all the way to the end, and I'm gonna make sure you get this one today, and it's the seller lead sheet. Uh, it's a copy of the seller lead sheet and seller intake form that I used to find out seller motivation and timing and set listing appointments when I listed 21 homes in 30 days. So the form is a little bit older. However, I think all the information in here is still going to be very helpful to you. You can take this form, modify it slightly, and use it in your market it for your uh, business. All right, so who is Mike Cerrone and why should I listen to him? I got a couple different groups of people on the phone right now. I got uh, people who have heard me before and you're going to be bored over the next few minutes. I apologize. And there are going to be people that have not heard me before. So I'm going to give you a little quick background here. So I've had my real estate license for 24 years. I started out really slow. I only sold seven homes in the first full year. Uh, my broker told me I was doing great, but I didn't think so because I wasn't eating very well. Uh, I, I got my business up to about 20 closings per year with a, a lot of pushing and hard work. Uh, but then I kind of stalled out there. I plateaued for three years in a row and I couldn't figure out how to get beyond that. I was getting stuck and I, I was hard headed. Does that sound familiar? You might be like me. A lot of us are hard headed in the industry. That's why we're, uh, we have the tenacity to make it, but it also can get us a little stuck. And I wanted to invent all, everything myself. So 19 years ago, I heard about a one hour videotape of a top agent demonstrating his listing presentation. And I knew that if I could focus on listings, because I was doing buyer, a lot of buyers at the time, buyers and listings, I would stabilize my income. I'd been riding that roller coaster up and down each month. And uh, I just didn't know exactly what to do, but I had a feeling that tape could help. But I didn't want to invest the money at the time because in, in today's dollars, it was about $1,000 to get that tape. And it seemed like a lot. And I just kept hesitating. So every time I struggled on the listing presentation, and you can read into that every time I didn't get it, didn't get them to sign, I remembered that tape and wondered if it would help. So it was about a year later that I finally broke down. I just said, I got to do this. And I invested the money and I got that tape. Now it took over two weeks to get it because back then everything was done by snail mail. So it finally arrived and I ripped open that package in my office and I couldn't wait to watch it. So I rushed home to see what was on that tape. I slammed it into the, the VCR and I watched that thing over and over again. And I couldn't believe all the amazing information that was coming out. The next day, I modified my listing presentation, and I took a listing that night, and it was incredibly easy. And I was probably only using maybe 10 or 20% of what I learned. Uh, so I went back through, and I rewatched the video over the next couple of weeks, and I kept tweaking my presentation, and I just kept modeling the top agent. And if you get nothing else out of today, I want you to know that. You just need to model people who are already doing what you want to do, and then things become easy. And it's something that I fought for a long time because I thought I had to create everything myself. So I just copied what he was saying and how he was presenting to the seller, and all of a sudden, I start to get great results. Uh, that year, when I started focusing on listings, my production doubled from 20 closings to 41 closings. So I got a whole double in one year. And then I continued to master my presentation. And soon I was listing five to 10 homes per month. And in my best month, I listed 21 homes in 30 days. And I like to clarify that that was at 21 different kitchen tables. That wasn't a, a REO account. That wasn't a builder that wasn't my cousin giving me a bunch of listings. <laughs> These were 21 different people at 21 different tables, and I didn't know the majority of them. They were all people that I found through prospecting and marketing. And by the way, that's a belief that I have, is that if you get your presentation down, all of a sudden, you're, something in your head clicks, and you actually go out and start pulling in sellers. You start finding sellers because you want to present this great information to them uh, instead of sabotaging yourself when you're out there prospecting. But we'll get into that later. My production jumped by the way, the next year to 95 closings, so we doubled again, and then up to 113 closings in one year. And that year, I was listed of the top 300 agents in the nation by the National Association of Realtors magazine. It was pretty exciting. I can't find the magazine, but I found this online. It's the, the top 300 list. You can see I was ranked number 263. I had 113 closings out here in Colorado. Pretty exciting stuff. Uh, now, the only mistake I think I made was I waited that one year to buy that tape. Uh, remember, if you want results, take a lot of action now. And I didn't follow that rule. 
uh, I made literally a thousand times my investment back over the next couple of years from that one tape and that one investment. I just wish I wouldn't have lost that year by waiting so long. Well, then I realized that this listing process is transferable. The information could be taught from one person to another. If I could learn it, so could others. So I decided to hire a listing agent because I was getting super busy. And it was a very new concept at the time. In fact, I didn't know anyone in my market who had a listing agent. I had to look at uh, top agents in other markets, and there was only a few around the nation doing it at that point. And I found a young man in his 20s. His name was Jamie. He had his license for six months. He'd only closed two buyers uh, in that time, and he'd never taken a listing. But <laughs> he was friendly, and nobody else applied because nobody wanted to do this brand new idea. Well, the first month, I took Jamie out and I trained him for a few hours per week. Uh, but it, you know, it wasn't very much, a couple hours in a whole week, and he got real restless. So the second month, uh, I started to send him out on solo listing appointments just to calm him down. And I sent him out on my reject leads, the, the listings I didn't think you could even get. And amazingly, he actually started listing those homes by using the forms and the format that we had developed. And over half the appointments listed in his second month. By his third month on the job, he listed 14 homes in 30 days and was earning a net $10,000 per month. He didn't have any expenses. I, I wasn't paying very much uh, uh, as percentage-wise because I knew we had a great system. But I had a feeling that he would earn a lot in aggregate, which he did. It was earning 10 grand a month, which might not be a lot today, but it was a lot back then. So how did this work? Uh, it all worked because of modeling modeling. I modeled the top agent and then Jamie turned around and modeled me and I'm going to recommend that you turn around and model the top agents as well. All right, so I went on, you know, people want to know what happened to the rest of the story. I went on and I built real estate brokerages, mortgage brokerages, real estate investment companies. I sold and now I kind of semi-retired from real estate. I got a little bored. So today I go out and I interview the top agents in the nation for success calls on the Mastermind Agent Network. Many of you have probably heard those. They're pretty, pretty fun to do. Uh, occasionally I host summits with top trainers and top agents. Maybe you've been to some of our summits. And I recently hosted the Listing Agent Summit where 14 top agents demonstrated their listing presentations in detail and showed us exactly what their presentation scripts and handouts are. We got to really dive into exactly what they're doing from start to finish on that listing presentation. And now I'm going to share some of the findings from that summit with you. Okay, so that's where this material is coming from that we're going to talk about today. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, so here are the 14 top agents that were at the listing summit. I, I want you to know these weren't just uh, an agent who sold two homes last year. These are really high performers. We had Eric Hatch who sold 508 homes in one year. Chantel Ray, who's on track to sell 1,300 homes in one year. Brian Macker, 235 homes. Melinda Estridge, 120 homes. Nate Martinez, we got 616 homes. Patrick Tuttle, 80 homes in one year. Plus, he's managing his hundreds of homes, hundreds of properties in a, in a rental pool. Uh, and then we got Paul Wheeler, 248 homes. Judy Jackson listed seven homes in seven days. She's acting as a listing specialist for a top agent. And she came in and talked to us. We got Shane White, 212 homes in one year. Uh, Steve Cohen, 106 homes. We had Shar McCollum, 210 homes in one year. Bob McTagg, uh, 210 homes as well. Wayne Turner, 286 homes. And Denny Grimes, 400 homes in one year. These, these folks are high top performers. And that's where we're getting this information that we're going to talk about today. All right, so I, I we did the summit, and then I just had to do – I it hit me the other day. I, I guess I was doing what I did years ago. I went back, and I started looking at these demonstrations over and over because they're just so powerful. I, I watched these training sessions, and I started to look for these patterns because all these incredible details were coming out. And I picked up stuff in the third interview, the third viewings that I didn't see in, say, the second or the first. And I started to, to see what, what they were doing. They were just sharing so much. At first, it was almost too much. But I started to see these patterns. And, uh, and I got super excited because I know if you mimic their best practices, you're going to get the same results. I actually ended up creating a 39-page listing presentation template that I modeled after the common elements that I saw in their top agent presentations. But right now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to share a major lesson uh, that I learned. And in order to understand what the lesson is, I, I want to put it in context 
by looking back at the, all these presentations, I noticed there was a 10-step process that everybody was following. So I just wanted to map it out so to make it simpler for me and everyone else. So real quickly, here are the 10 steps. You, you go out, and when the call comes in, you screen that seller, uh, and then you're gonna, if they're qualified and motivated, you're gonna set that appointment. Then you're gonna go send them out a pre-listing package, and people do that different ways. Uh, you're gonna go to the house, you're gonna do a greet in the tour, you're gonna re-qualify the seller, make sure you're not wasting your time, you're gonna establish your expertise, uh, you're gonna show them your marketing plan, you're gonna value the home, you're gonna show them the net sheet, you're gonna close for the signature, and you're gonna handle any objections, and then you're gonna tell them what happens next. So that's the 10-step the process, and today we're gonna really dive deep into number nine, close and handle objections. Okay, so that's where you're asking for the signature, you might be getting some objections, and we're gonna work on resolving that. Okay, so where did this come from? This idea came from top agent Wayne Turner uh, when we were talking in the summit, and it came out, and I about fell over about how cool this idea is. I hope you enjoy the idea as well. So have you ever gotten to the end of your listing presentation and everything has gone well, and you ask the seller to sign, and they say, I want to think about it. Well, if this has happened to you, you're not alone. It's happened to me too many times that I'd like to count, and it's probably every agent who's ever listed more than their parents' house, <laughs> it might have even happened there too, uh, where you get this stall of, I want to think about it. Well, top agent Wayne Turner, who sold 286 homes in his best year, had this happen too often to ignore. So Wayne got curious and tried different solutions. At first, he tried the standard acknowledge, probe, isolate, and solve technique. And we're going to review that idea in a minute. We'll go deeper into that. But And many times, by the way, that technique worked. You know, that got him over the hump and they were able to move forward. But for most of the sellers, they were still stalling and Wayne would have to leave empty-handed, often discovering later that they'd sign with another agent. So he invented what I call the step-away technique. And it worked really great. So we're gonna we'll talk about how that came about here in a second. So I'm sorry, just one up, oh, there we go. And so let's talk about this problem. Let's go back to, to the initial problem and review exactly what was going on there. So we need to get into the seller's head to understand the solution and what the options are here. So imagine yourself sitting at the kitchen table with the seller. You go through your entire presentation, you talk about their motivation and timing and they're qualified, you talk about their your track record and you are qualified, you talk about the CMA and list price, and they agree to a reasonable price, you talk about the net sheet and they like the money, and the entire time they're nodding their head up and down in agreement and everything you say, they say yes, 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 and you're like this is in the bag, this is gonna happen, I'm super excited and you're ready to get the forms finished and leave with your victory, and then you hit the wall. You ask the seller to sign the listing agreement, and the seller says, I wanna think about it. <laughs> and you're thinking in your head, what do they need to think about? I just answered all their questions, why are they stalling? So panic starts to sink in. I don't know if this ever happened to you, it kinda of gets in your gut, and you start to feel a little sick to your stomach, you start squirming a little bit in your chair, and you know from your past, two things will happen next. One, you're gonna to press too hard and the seller will reject you as a pushy salesperson. Or two, you walk away meekly and then start chasing them as they hire another agent. Well, you have to ask yourself, what went wrong? You have to know why the seller stalled so you can fix it next time. So here are the three most common reasons that a seller is going to stall out at the listing presentation. One is clarification. They did not understand something and need more clarification. Two, condition. They have a problem that cannot be resolved at this time. Three, conference. They need to talk to someone to confirm this is a good decision. Let's go through those three most common reasons and give you a couple ways to handle them. All right, so let's talk about the clarification stall first. If the seller stalls for clarification, you can use the traditional solution of acknowledge, probe, isolate, and solve. Okay, the, the uh, I, APIs, excuse me, the APIs. So here's your acknowledgement. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I can appreciate that you wanna think about this. It's a big decision. And then you probe. 
May I ask what specifically you'd like to think about? Sometimes they're going to give a simple answer like, I don't want to include the washer and dryer in the cell. My grandma made, gave those to me and I want to keep them. Next, you're going to isolate. Is this the only thing preventing you from hiring me today? Yes. And then you're going to solve. Well, let's exclude them from the cell. You can take the washer and dryer with you to your new home. I'll write that in right now. Let's get your home on the market. Sign here. You're going to use that assumptive close, by the way. Just say sign here. Don't ask, don't move on if, if they're ready to sign. Just go ahead and, and get it done. All right, so that's one idea in the clarification stall. Let's look at another. Sometimes the seller will not answer your open-ended questions, right? They'll say something like, I just need to think it over, or I need some time. At that point, go back to your API's technique, acknowledge, probe, isolate, and solve, but use closed-ended questions. Those are questions that end with yes or no answers. So here we go. Let's walk through one. Acknowledge, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I can appreciate that you want to think about this. It's really a big decision, and I get that. May I ask, are you concerned about the price? No. Are you concerned about the time it will take to sell? No. Are you concerned about the fees or cost to sell? No. Are you concerned about the marketing? No. Well, are you concerned about me and my ability to sell your home? Yes, you've only been selling real estate for one year. Ah, now we know what's going on. So now we're going to isolate it. I understand. That's true. I've only been in real estate for eight months. But if I could show you how that is a benefit to you, would you be willing to hire me today? Well, yes, or maybe. If you get a positive, you start moving forward. Let's go for the solve. Well, first, I have an entire office of veterans behind me to answer any challenge that may arise. Second, my broker has 21 years experience and will be working with me to ensure a smooth transaction. Third, I'm new and aggressive. Because I do not have a lot of clients right now, I can dedicate the majority of my time to finding a buyer for your house. I want you to be so happy with the result that you tell all your friends and family to hire me too. Are you ready to put me to work? Yes. By using the API's technique, this acknowledge, probe, isolate, and solve, you'll be able to resolve most clarification stall stalls and get a signature today. So keep that idea in mind, the API's technique. Now let's talk about a different stall. Let's talk about the condition stall. All right, here we go. So it's often discovered while using the API's technique. So you're going to do your, your process here. You're going to acknowledge Mr. and Mrs. Seller. I can appreciate that you want to think about this. It's a big decision. You probe, may I ask, what specifically you'd like to think about? Well, we have a problem. There's a third owner on title, my sister, and she hates me. She will never agree to let us sell this home. Mm. Or I declared bankruptcy last month and the judge said I cannot sell the home. Mm. Or... I just received a notice that the city is condemning our property and taking it over to build a new Walmart. Mm. Or, I'm not sure I even own this home. I signed a napkin at a poker game that pledged my house. Ah, yuck, yuck, and double yuck. <laughs> These are conditions. You know, maybe you can fix them, but they're going to take a lot of time and effort. Maybe you should just walk away or run. Save your time and go help someone that's going to be a little bit easier to help out, okay? So that's a condition stall is typically a, a rock that you're just not going to be able to move or at least not very easily, and it's usually best to move along. All right, let's talk about the third stall, the conference stall. All right, the conference stall is basically the seller likes you and your services, but they need to conference with someone to get a second opinion and get their confirmation that this is a good idea to move forward with you. Now, you're probably thinking that it's their mother or father or attorney, and you might be right, but often the seller needs to conference with their spouse who's right there at the table, but you, you are in the way of them talking. And that's where the step away technique comes into play. Let's look at how this thing happened in the first place, and then you'll understand why it works so well. So we got top agent Wayne Turner, and he discovered this 
the solution by running into this problem. You know, he used all of the traditional techniques like the APIs, but the seller kept saying, we just need to think about it. Out of frustration, he decided he just needed to get some fresh air and think of a solution. So he told the seller that he left something in his car and he'd be right back. Wayne went out to his car and sat there for a few minutes. He noticed an old house flyer on the seat and he picked it up and went back inside. He showed the, flower, the flyer to the sellers and they smiled. And he asked if they were ready to hire him and they said yes. And so was born the step away technique. After the seller signed the listing agreement, Wayne had to ask, what happened when I was in my car? The seller said, we just needed to talk and make sure you're the right agent for us. We wanted to talk privately. It only took a moment. We knew we want to hire you. We just want to confirm it with the other. And it was too hard to talk in front of you. What if one of us didn't like you? You know, that would have been really embarrassing. So we just needed a minute alone. Glad it worked out. Wow, how powerful is that? This step away technique could save you days or weeks of chasing the seller and prevent the loss of revenue if they hire someone else after you leave. So the next time a seller is stalling for no reason, just step away to your car for a few moments and give them a little bit of time to talk and then come back, show them whatever you brought back in and immediately ask for the signature when you return. More than likely, they're going to say yes because they were able to confirm among themselves that everything is okay to move forward. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I'm not sure why you showed up today. It could be you want to know how to handle the seller stall of I want to think it over. It could be you want to improve your listing presentation so you sign more sellers and beat out other agents in this hyper-competitive market. It could be you want to gain the confidence of knowing you have an awesome presentation so that you can start attracting sellers to you. It could be that you want to learn how top agents list and sell hundreds of homes each year, and you want to do it too. Well, if there's one thing you can take away from today, it's that I've cracked the code for modeling the top agents listing presentations and duplicating their results. It's literally changed my world, the world of my new listing agent, and the world of my students. It's very much a replicatable system that you can apply to your real estate practice. And you can finally have consistent, dependable monthly income and the freedom to enjoy it. So the obvious question is, how can you apply this code, this system, this model of the top agent listing presentations to your business and create a consistent monthly income? Well, you have a choice, as you always do. You can do it slowly using trial and error like I tried to do in the old days, taking some of what I shared today. Or you can do it quickly using models in the Listing Agent Summit Recordings training program. When in doubt, bring in Einstein. Everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. What is the Listing Agent Summit Recordings? At the summit, 14 top agents demonstrate their listing presentations as we watch over their shoulders and onto their computer screens. You can see and download their real-life listing presentation documents, hear and mimic their words and scripts, and model their best practices. And it was all recorded on video. This is absolutely the fastest way to get from point A to point B. You know, you can get your goal slowly in this rickety old machine, or you can get there quickly in a hot red Ferrari. What exactly is inside the summit? Well, there are 14 training videos of the top agents demonstrating their exact listing presentation in detail. Plus, you get dozens of downloadable samples and handouts so that you can see their entire listing system from start to finish, including seller lead sheets and appointment setting scripts pre-listing packages, listing presentations with full marketing plans, pricing charts and graphs, forms and checklists, and seller handouts like how the seller can prepare their home for photos and how the seller can prepare for a quick showing on a checklist. Plus, at the summit, I ask all 14 top agents how they handle the seller stall. I want to think it over. You'll get to see and hear all 14 different solutions and find the one that you like best. And the end and end this problem of the dreaded seller stall. 
You'll know what to do next time a seller says, I want to think it over. You'll know exactly how to turn that seller no into a yes. It really comes down to a simple idea. If you want to list homes like top agents, model the top agent listing presentations and get the same results. It's really that simple. It's worked for me and, it'll, and it worked for my listing agent and it'll work for you too. So how much is this going to cost? Well, 19 years ago, I wanted to see inside the listing presentation of one of the top agents in the nation who was listing and selling 200 homes per year. I wanted to be just like him. So after one year of procrastinating, I finally broke down and got his one hour videotape. I got to see his materials, listen to how he presented and understand his philosophy. Was it worth it? Absolutely. I watched those videos, I made it my own, I practiced and I went out and started taking listings, lots and lots of listings. Very quickly I started listing 5 to 10 homes per month and in my best month I listed 21 homes in 30 days. I just modeled the top agents and it worked. I made my investment back with my first closing. Then I made literally a thousand times my investment over the next few years. I would never trade that experience. I only wish I would have not procrastinated and waited that one year. I would have been earning that much faster. And eventually I wanted to expand with a listing agent. So I hired a new agent who had only had his license for six months and only closed two buyer transactions. He was listing homes in his second month with my reject leads and listed 14 homes in 30 days in his third month. I tell you that because if I can take someone who'd only work with two buyers and get up to 14 listings in 30 days in his third month, just think what you can do. These concepts are transferable. Anyone can learn how. Modeling successful systems is the key. I modeled the top agents and quickly became a success. Then my new listing agent modeled me and ramped up fast. Now you can model the top agents and start listing homes at a rapid rate. So what is the value here? Well, the one hour VCR videotape that I purchased basically cost me $1,000 in today's money. In this summit, there are 14 top agents demonstrating their exact listing presentation and sharing their handouts. So based on that, the 14 video recordings should cost $14,000. And they'd probably be worth it. A couple of closings need to be paid for and every listing after that would be pure profit. But you don't have to pay $14,000, not even $10,000, not even $5,000. Now, what I should have done is charge $2,000, and many folks told me that that's what I should price this at, but I'm not, not going to do that either. You can get the entire summit recordings for just one payment of $9.97 today. That's it. One payment of $9.97. The whole thing is yours. It'll be paid off in no time with your first closing. Now, I had received some comments back from some agents saying, Mike, the 997 is great. I really want to participate. However, I need to spread some payments out over time because that's really hard for me. What's the best that you can do? So I came up with what I'm about to present to you, which is a webinar only special where I'm just going to do it on this webinar. And that is this. You can do a payment plan for just $97 a month for 12 months. So you can get started today for just $97, but this is a webinar only special. I'm just doing this on the webinar. And yes, by the way, when you purchase, you're going to get the whole thing right now. I'm not going to hold it back and drip it out where you get one today and one in a month and one in six months. No, you're going to get everything today, all of the sessions, all 14 top agents you'll be able to see right now. Plus, I'm going to give you three fast action bonuses. I'm going to give you an incentive for taking action today. I call these student-driven bonuses because they were all designed at the request of the Summit students to make this training even more easy and simple. So fast action bonus number one, the seller lead sheet template. I basically went in and modeled the top agent systems and I created this simple word template that you can modify, but you can use it just right out of the box the way it is, and you can use it to quickly determine seller motivation and timing. You can set appointments with the best leads right away. Next, fast action bonus number two, 
the listing presentation template. I'm very proud of this one. What I did is I went in, I looked at the 14 presentations, and I modeled the common elements that I was seeing throughout the top agent presentations and created this 39-page fill-in-the-blank template in both Word and PowerPoint. So Word, if you like to print it out and you do it as paper, PowerPoint, if you like to do it on your computer screen. Next, I gave you, uh, it's so easy, all you have to do is enter your name, photo, phone, email, and a little bit of data, and you're going to be up and running super duper fast in less than 24 hours. You'll, be you'll have a listing presentation just like the pros. And then fast action bonus number three, my listing presentation that I used to list 21 homes in 30 days. I had people, uh, agents that kept asking me, Mike, can I look at what your presentation was? What did it look like when you were taking all those listings? And I said, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to lay it down so that you can see it. And so I demonstrate my exact listing presentation that I use to list all the homes. Now, keep in mind, it's a little bit older, and uh, but I think it's so powerful. I could take it today, make a couple quick modifications, and I'd be listing homes like a champ right away. So you can download that, my presentation, you can see my marketing plan, and you can see my price bracket strategy. I think that, by the way, is super powerful. I haven't seen anyone else use that, not the way I did, this price bracket strategy idea. I used it to get sellers to price the home correctly right there at the listing table. You'll see what I did in there. And then also, if for some reason I couldn't get them to price it right, right then, with the concept established, I would immediately be able to make, get them to make a price reduction, say, in about two weeks based on the concepts that I had presented. So I was always able to get that price narrowed in quickly. Also, you'll see how I close for the listing at my full commission rate. Now, I wanted to do something special for folks just on this webinar. So I got a webinar only bonus. And let me tell you how this came about. So I believe, I really believe because it happened for me, and but I believe that if if you go out and try to prospect for seller appointments without having a good listing presentation, you will you will uh, self-sabotage because you don't really want to sign up sellers when you know you have nothing to show them or you don't feel confident in what you do have to show them. And so it becomes a barrier for you to sign up listing appointments for you to go out there and prospect and find people. And so I believe, because it worked for me, if you go and get your listing presentation down, you get it down pat. All of a sudden, you have the confidence to go out and get those appointments. They become really easy. Uh, it's almost like you become a magnet for them because you want to fill the pipeline to start presenting. Well, that's what I believe. But agents keep saying, Mike, how do you how do you fill up the pipeline? How do you get the leads? So what I'm going to do here is a webinar-only special. We did a summit called the Agent Lead Generation Summit, and we recorded it. And basically what it was is we had 17 top agents answer this question in detail. What is your number one best lead generation? method in today's market and they went through on video where we we're watching over their shoulder and we were looking onto their computer screens as they were describing exactly what their number one best lead generation method was so they, they were all a little bit different so for instance we had uh, someone who came out and told us about Facebook ads and how she's generating seller leads off of Facebook we got geog and by that way that was seller leads not buyer leads okay it was pretty cool geographic farming past clients sphere of influence and referrals that was a big one a lot of folks working on that and if you have past clients and sphere of influence which i assume you do that is golden right there internet leads uh, pay-per-click seo and idx phone prospecting open houses and more so if you want to learn how the top agents are generating and by the way these people are closing 100 to 200 300 transactions a year again they're not lightweights if you want to learn how they're doing it you can learn it all in the agent lead generation summit recordings which i'm going to put in as an extra webinar only bonus if you purchase today now when you invest you have my personal 30-day money back guarantee so to recap, it all starts with taking action today. My biggest regret was waiting one year before I bought the videotape of the top agent demonstrating his listing presentation because I didn't want to invest the money. But after I did, everything turned around. I quickly started listing five to 10 homes per month. I even got up to 21 listings in 30 days. Then I trained my new listing agent who'd only closed two buyers before and he got up to 14 listings in 30 days in his third month. It is so easy that you can do it too. Just model the top agents. Model the top agents.
So here's what you get. Again, you get the videos. You get 14 training videos of the top agents demonstrating their exact listing presentations in detail. And by the way, I've been asked, these recordings, the, the shortest one was my fastest talker. I think it was 45 minutes. Most of them are an hour to an hour and a half. Some of them are over two hours. I know that sounds like a lot, but here's what's happening. Those people gave, these top agents, they gave everything. They laid it all out there. They didn't hold anything back. You get to see exactly what they're doing in their listing presentations. Some of them are doing role play. Some of them describe their process. Some of them combine the role play with the description so they would role play and then go back out and describe exactly what they did. It's super powerful. All right, you're also going to get dozens of downloadable samples and handouts so you can see their entire listing system from start to finish, including seller lead sheet and appointment setting scripts, pre-listing packages, listing presentation with full marketing plans, pricing charts and graphs, forms and checklists, and seller handouts. Plus, those bonuses, uh, bonus number one, the seller lead sheet template in Word. Bonus number two, the listing presentation template in Word and PowerPoint. Bonus number three, my listing presentation I used to list 21 homes in 30 days. And the webinar-only bonus of the Agent Lead Generation Summit recordings. It's an incredible package. And you get lifetime access and a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. So here's what to do now. Click the big red button under this screen that looks like this. And then here's what's going to happen next. You'll see this page. Enter your info. And then next, pick your payment option, either the one payment or 12 payments. And then click on the green order button at the bottom of the form. And you'll be taken here where you'll receive an email with me, from me within 15 minutes with your username and password. Just go ahead and enter it in. And you'll be taken inside with full access to everything inside. And that includes all your fast action bonuses and webinar bonus, which will already be preloaded and ready to go for you. So it all starts with you taking action. Again, you can do it slowly using trial and error, taking some of what I shared today. And I hope that you do that right now. Definitely take some action there. Or you can do it quickly and model the 14 top agents inside the Listing Agent Summit recordings and get this show going even faster. So here's what to do now. Click that red button on the bottom of the page, get immediate access to the Listing Agent Summit recordings where you'll see the 14 videos of top agents demonstrating their exact listing presentations, download dozens of samples such as pre-listing packages, presentations, marketing plans, get the fast action bonus number one, the seller lead sheet template in Word, get fast action bonus number two, the listing presentation template in Word and PowerPoint, fast action bonus number three, my listing presentation presentation I used to list 21 homes in 30 days, the webinar only bonus of the Agent Lead Generation Summit recordings, lifetime access, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. And you can do it for either one payment or 12 payments, whatever is your preference. Just remember that 12 payments, though, is a webinar only special. So now let's get into our Q&A. If you have any questions for me about uh, anything. If, you, if you'd like to know about how to get people off the fence when they say, I want to think about it, I'd love to talk about those questions. If you have any questions uh, about your listing presentation today, if you have questions about the uh, Listing Agent Summit, uh, if you have questions, go ahead and type them in your screen. Again, if you haven't done so already, you would type your question in the bottom. And then when you press enter over here on number two, you would type your name in and press go. And that'll get you into that chat box so that you can ask some questions. So I'm going to leave this screen up while I answer questions. And I'm going to go over there now and do my best to, to get you guys some answers here. So I'm going to screen back up and see uh, what we got. So here we go. Uh, hi, Mike. The visual is blurred. Uh-oh. Not easy to read through the presentation. I'm really sorry about that. I hope not everybody's experienced that. Uh, next, I watched most of the webinar. Oh, my gosh. It says it's freezing and had to reboot. I love what I was able to hear. Uh, oh, boy. Well, I hope that that was an isolated issue and that everybody was able to watch the presentation. Uh, if not, I apologize. I'm using this, this uh, Google Hangouts, and of course, it's always new and different each time. Um, boom. All right, well, do I have any more questions about what to do uh, out there when you bump into this problem of the seller saying, I want to think about it. Now, I know there's a little time delay, so I'm going to wait a couple seconds. I'm going to get a quick drink of water. Go ahead and type those in. I know that'll take a second. Uh, 
Okay. Let me refresh and make sure I didn't lose anybody out of there. All right. Let's see. It looks like I saw. Okay. Okay. So here's a question. I'm sorry about the delay there. I I was trying to work through to make sure that I didn't lose everybody, but I see a lot of people still on. So I think we're in good shape. Uh, one of the questions that I had is, geez, you know, Mike, if, oh, here we go. Oh, let's see. 10 items. Uh, oh, so someone just asked if they could see the 10 items on the listing process. Yeah, I can do that for you. Hold on just a second. Um, let's go back up to that. Here we go. And boom, I think you should see it. So here's the 10-step listing process of the top agents. Uh, again, screen and test excuse me, screen and set, uh, pre-listing package, greet and tour, requalify, establish your expertise, uh, marketing plan, value the home, net sheet, close and handle objections, and what happens next. The most interesting part for me is that, again, I did this based on what we just saw at the summit, and we put it all into um, uh, order uh, based on what the top agents are doing. And this is exactly the same process that I was following uh, 15, 20, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago when I was listing all those homes. So this is evergreen. This is an incredible way, a system for you to walk through your uh, listing process to make sure that you keep getting the result that you want at the end. That's the folks signing up. Okay. So I'm glad we we're able to get that for you. And I'm going to give another second for questions as I go back down. Do, 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 to there, because I don't want to forget to get you guys this handout. Okay, so why why we're waiting to see if there are any other questions, I want to make sure you get this. I promised you a free, whoops, let me open that up a little better. Sorry about that. I promised you a free surprise if you stayed to the end, and that is the copy of my seller lead sheet, the seller intake form that I used to find seller motivation and timing and set the appointments when I listed 21 homes in 30 days. So uh, if you could just open a new internet window and type this in, www.mastermindagent.com forward slash lead sheets, you'll be able to see it. Again, go to www.mastermindagent.com forward slash lead sheet, and you'll be able to pick up uh, that document. It's really awesome. Uh, I use that, and it's really, well, now I'm going to start rambling on, but it's really cool because it, it, it's, it gives you the the format that you can use to make sure you're asking all the questions that you want to know about the property, about the motivation of that seller uh, to find out if they're really ready to do anything or not. And then also it goes down into all the details of finding out about their mortgage and the source of the lead that came in, uh, all the information that you need to know to make a great presentation. Okay. All right. Well, what I'm going to do at this point, and I'm going to take a second look. Okay. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to wrap it up. I really appreciate you taking the time to join with me today. I hope you found this valuable. Uh, remember, if you go out there and you bump into the I want to think it over uh, challenge that stall, be sure to try the step away technique next time you bump into it. I think you're going to be really happy with the results. All right. Have a fantastic day. Bye.